in the San Francisco Bay Area, we have nine counties and every county is different. So it just depends on where your case is um, and, and which prosecutor is dealing with your case. In some counties, as soon as we've done the arraignment, um, we may get an email from the prosecutor once they know who the attorney is on the case with an early offer. Sometimes, depending on the county, these offers are saying, hey, if you plead quickly, we'll give you this. Typically, offers are not taken away. Um, if we set a case for a jury trial, usually at that point, um, the offer may be off the table. Um, a reduced charge is a lot less possible once we you know, get involved in a jury trial um, because offers are typically made uh, in exchange for an earlier plea. In San Francisco, it can take many months or longer to get an offer because their district attorney's office has been such a mess for years with, you know, different people coming in, running the office. Um, the attorneys there, they have a bunch on different teams, different color teams, and they switch off, and, and sometimes you don't get an offer. Sometimes you get one right away. It just depends on the luck of the draw there. Um, in other counties, it, it just depends on who you're dealing with. Marin County is a county that has had a lot of problems with its district attorney's office due to COVID and staffing and a lot of different things. They're trying to get their acts together, and they brought in some uh, older prosecutors to try and fix things um, to catch up and, and to, to get offers going um, out to people quicker. Um, there are a lot of good things about that office that in regards to communication with them and, and getting offers, if I want to get an offer in Marine County, I can usually get one pretty quickly. Typically what takes a long time in that county and every other Bay Area County is getting our discovery. Alameda County is a county that's notorious for taking forever, for getting us the discovery we need. Um, and so that, that can slow down the offer process. Once we get the offer and we've done our investigation, then you know a client can make a decision on whether or not they want to take it or push a case to a jury trial. Um, offers are typically in a DUI case, in a misdemeanor DUI case, either going to be to um, the, the charges that you're charged with or sometimes a reduced charge to a wet reckless, but those are typically the offers that we see. Um, and then as the attorney, we can negotiate terms of those offers to try and make them more beneficial. The other thing that we can do, um, especially in, in more complex cases, cases with more charges or cases that involve immigration is putting together a, uh, um, collateral consequences uh, package and, um, you know, put together a uh, basically a lot of information to present the prosecutor as to why they should dismiss or reduce charges. But again, um, offers different in every county and um, it's, uh, it's something that if we want it quick, we can get it, but sometimes it's best not to ask for a quick offer because um, maybe we want to be able to present more information before an offer is made. And sometimes once it gets made, they don't like to go back on it. So, uh, but again, I've said it like six times, every, every county is different. And so what's important is to talk to your attorney um, about the county and how they operate and make sure you hire an attorney who's familiar with the, the county where your arrest happens. In this office, we handle all the Bay Area counties. We don't go outside of the Bay Area. We have other attorneys that we can give you the names of if your DUI is outside of the Bay Area. But in uh, nine counties is enough for us to cover.